Welcome to Gondra Center. Today I want to talk to you about another pathology I have to take care of a lot of, which is uterine fibroids. Fibroids are a benign growth of the muscle of the uterus. All this myometrium, which is the muscle of the uterus, have regular muscle cells, but some decide to grow, extra grow, and produce these fibroids. Uterine fibroids is an extremely common problem. Um, it's the reason number one of hysterectomies in the United States. And causes lots of trouble, causes pelvic pain, heavy bleeding, anemia, but also causes infertility. So the important thing to know is that when do you need to worry about your fiber for your fertility? Well, the recommendations are that if you have fibroids that are inside your endometrial cavity or they are distorting your endometrial cavity, like I'm showing here on the picture, that fibroid has to come out because that's gonna lower your pregnancy rates and also it's gonna increase the risk of complications such as miscarriages, malpresentations, needing C-section and things like that. The submucosal ones, which is the one inside the uterus, um, we remove it hysteroscopically and that can be done most of the time in one time. Sometimes if they are too large, you have to do it in two, in, in two, in two times. But that's an outpatient procedure that you go home the same day, go back to work the next day, and it's very well tolerated. Now, when you have fibroids that are in the muscle, that, those ones are gonna require a different approach, which is going and cutting a little bit the, the surface of the uterus where the fibroid is, finding those fibroids and enucleating them, and then stitch the uterus back together. Back on the day, we used to do this open. We used to open patients for this with a section scar. Um, nowadays, there's not really many reasons uh, unless they're extremely large to do this on patients uh, because you can do it laparoscopically and mainly the best way, in my opinion, is robotically. Robotically because the stitching is much easier to do it that way because with Da Vinci, we can be more um, uh, detail-oriented. Uh, some surgeons do this laparoscopically, uh, but most of the surgeons who do this laparoscopically, like me, I do it robotically, which I feel um, is, is, is across the board is a safer way. Um, in good hands, though, laparoscopy alone might be okay, but no most of the doctors do it that way. So in that case, what we do, we have to do a small incisions in your tummy, like a laparoscopy, and then we go and it, we get one of those fibers out and then send them out to pathology and then get you to the stitch up. Now, who needs a, a robotic or laparoscopic on open myomectomy for fertility? The recommendation for fertility is to remove fibroids where there are pushing into the endometrial cavity, as I said earlier. When there are five centimeters or bigger, some people even go to four centimeters or bigger, and if you have more than four. Now, the problem with fibroids is sometimes you might see three, but you probably have four or five because there's always little ones hiding behind. So if I have a patient who I diagnose an ultrasound to have 10, most likely I'm gonna find 15. They're gonna be little ones. Unless we go with an MRI, that we can be more detail-oriented. But in general, um, if they are very, very small, it, you know, it's hard to tell anyways. Regardless, when we do a laparoscopy, I remove whatever I see. But the recommendations are if you're having Symptoms, of course, we treat the symptoms, but you're doing it for fertility, you have to remove anything that is inside the endometrial cavity, anything that's um, in, in the muscle pushing into the endometrial cavity, and uh, any, any fiber when it's five centimeters or uh, bigger or more, or when you have many of them. Why do we need to remove the fibroids? Because the fibroids are tissue that are preventing the uterus to work as supposed to be working. So if the, the placenta is attached to an area with a fibroid, the fibroid doesn't have a good vascularization, it can cause issues with detachment or even lack of pregnancy. So that's what the recommendation is to remove them. I have a lot of success with this. The only issue is that if you have a um, myomectomy, intramural myomectomy is called when you're removing from the muscle, you have to wait three months before you can get pregnant and uh, then you're gonna need a C-section because you cannot go into labor because there is always a concern that that scar, it could uh, tear during labor. So if you do a robotic uh, myomectomy with me or open or in laparoscopic, but the ones that are going to cut in through the muscle, you're gonna have to wait three months before you can get pregnant that, and you're gonna need a C-section and that's not gonna lower your chances of pregnancy. Actually, it's gonna better if the recommendation and uh, the indication was uh, the right one. 
Estos mucosos, those are when they are easier to remove through the vagina. Often, patients have both. Uh, I do 3D ultrasounds and 3D sonohistograms, and often I find somebody hiding in the uterus inside the little lining and another ones. Um, 50% of the patients who you remove fibroids are gonna grow new fibroids because those are uterus who grow fibroids. The other ways to deal with fibroids, if you are done having babies, you can have a hysterectomy, uh, you have an embolization, and there is a, a, a new intervention radiology, uh, a lot of intervention radiology ways to deal with this that what they, they do is that they kill the blood supply of the, of the muscle. Um, those are not recommended to do for people who want to get pregnant, so I don't send a patient for that. Um, in my case, I remove them, so then the uterus get pregnant and I have babies, and I have a lot, a lot of babies after my omectomies. So again, I hope this helped you to, to understand better what's going on with these guys, and we'll see you next time.